Oh. So as we talk about the themes of this particular story, let's. Uh, here's one of the things we're going to do. Let's go ahead and, and uh, start with the reading of this uh, chapter. We're, we're starting on page 53, her first job. Does anybody remember what she talked about with her first job already? No? Okay, so let's let's take a look. Turn to page 53. Where's the violence? Turn to page 53. You do my commandments. All right. What? What page? 53. 53. All right, guys, page 53, the first job. Does anybody want to start out on that reading? As we look through this story, though, I want you to think about uh, sort of like a uh, the theme of the story, which is what this chapter is going to be mostly about, okay? The main idea is kind of like what the entire book is about, but the theme is like a specific like a specific topic that this particular chapter page. I have the definition right here. Here you are on the top of the page, theme. Somebody read that for me. The theme. Any volunteers? The main subject or important idea or subject that runs through a writing or move or movie, the underlying lying meaning of a story. Yes. Some examples of uh, themes are right here. What do you see here, Krishana? Do you see the themes here? Jealousy. What's the next theme? Bravery. Another one? Friendship. Friendship. So when we read this particular chapter, I want you guys to be kind of looking at what a, uh, what a central idea or underlying meaning of this particular chapter is, okay? Let's get started. Page 53. Any, any volunteers? Any volunteers? Yeah, sure. Oh, thanks. It wasn't as if I didn't want to work. I did. I had even gone to the Social Security office the month before to get my Social Security number. I need. I needed money. The Catholic high school cost a lot, and Papa said nobody went to a to public school unless you wanted turn out bad I thought I'd find an easy job the kind other kids had working in the dim store or maybe a hot dog stand and though I hadn't started looking yet I thought I might the week I might the week after next but when I came home that afternoon, all wet because Tito had pushed me into the open water hydrant. Hydrant, only I had sort of let him. Mama called me in the kitchen before I could even go and change my aunt and on. Let's stop right there for a second. So she's she has to go and get a job. Are you are you paying attention? She has to go and get a job. Does anybody remember why does she have to go and get a job? Oh, hey, Brian, what happened? We're we're in the middle of something. Yeah, uh, you said you said that the book was in page sixty-six. Okay, thanks. Stay so she had to go and get a job, guys. We're gonna finish this one first. She had to go and get a job. What what is the underlying theme so far? She has to pay for school. What does that mean? What is a key idea that you would take away from a kid having to work? She doesn't have any education or money or money. Yeah. Most most students don't have to work to pay for school, right? Oh, no. Anybody know anyone working to pay for high school? No. And so this theme is, is actually a theme of, what would you call this? Broke. Yeah. She doesn't have any money. They're, no money they're, on my card. 
Yeah, they're pretty poor. <laughs> so as we as we continue to read the story, let's look let's look for other uh other themes or what this what's what the entire chapter is about. Go ahead and keep reading. Can someone volunteer where it says um Layla was sitting there? Should I take this part? Yep. Okay. Layla was sitting there drinking her coffee with a spoon. Aunt Layla said she had found a job for me at the Peter Pan Photo Finishers on North Broadway where she worked and how old I was and to show up tomorrow saying that I was one year older and that was that. So she had to do what about her age? Lie. She had to lie. Why? Because she didn't have any money. Yeah. So the next morning I put on the navy blue dress that that made me look older and borrow money for lunch and bus fare. Aunt Layla said I wouldn't get paid till the next Friday. And I went in and saw the boss of Peter Pan Finishers on North Broadway where Aunt Layla's worked and lied about my age like she told me to. And sure enough, I started the same day. Can you pick up for me right there? In my job. Let me show you. Can you see? Can you read that for me? Go ahead. She must make it up with her friends. Just look at the picture and look for the same one on the negative ship. Put in, put in, put it in the envelope. The envelope. Uh, and do the next one. And do the next one. That's all I didn't know. Where these em envelopes were coming from or where they were going. I just did what I was told. It was real easy. And I guess I wouldn't have minded it. Except that you got tired after a while. And I didn't know if I could sit down or not. Then I started sitting down only when two ladies next to me did. After a while, they started to laugh and came up to me and said I could sit when I wanted to and said I knew. When lunchtime came, I was scared to eat alone in the company lunchroom with all those men and ladies with me. So I ate real fast, standing in one of the washroom stalls and had lots of time left over. <laughs> so I went back to work early. But then break time came and not knowing where else to go, I went to the coat room because there was a bench there. I guess it was the I guess I guess it was the time for the night shifts or metal shifts to arrive because a few people came in and punched the t the time clock and older oriental men said hello. And we talked for a while about my just staring, my just starting, and he said we could be friends and next time to go in the lunchroom and sit with him. And I felt better. He had nice eyes, and I didn't feel so nervous anymore. Then he asked okay, if attention. I knew what day it was. And when I said I didn't, he said it was his birthday and I would... And would I please give him a birthday too? I thought I would become, I thought I would because he was so old and just as I was about to put my lips on his cheek, he grabs my face both hands and kisses me hard in the mouth and doesn't let go. Okay, let's stop right there. So what just happened? John, what just happened? Jeffrey Dahmer, we're not gay. This, what just happened in the story, John? Uh, old man just kissed a little girl. Uh, old man just kissed a little girl. <laughs> just the vibes. Now, what, 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 what do you think that theme is, is like? What would you call that? Bravery. She, she, she had to be brave. It was like a violation of her... Like her... her personal space. Yeah. A violation of her body, a violation of her space... You know, he took advantage of the fact that she, um, you tell me, what did he do? She didn't have any friends. She just started a job. She was all alone. So he came and what did he do? Oh, he took advantage and tried 
to let to to let her get a to let him get a birthday kiss. Yeah. So and he didn't he didn't care and he just kissed her hard on the cheeks. On the lips. On on, on the lips. Yeah. And so what kind of theme is this? She's so first the the beginning of the story talked about she was what? She was what? Because she had to work a job. She was. Uh, she, she was no poor. My car. She was poor. Yeah, and now we're shifting to uh, where. Uh, in middle, I think. Yeah, so we're shifting to uh, a, a theme of it's. Have you? Has anybody heard of the Me Too? Me Too moment, where okay. Before, where a person's listen up for a second. Where a person's boss. A woman's boss is taking advantage of her because she's a woman and he's a man, and he's taking advantage of her advantage of her in the wrong way. Can you see this is kind of the theme going on here? It's yeah. Like, it's like every single one, mm-hmm. like one, it was a she was a dancing with an old man. Yes. Yes. And then she was attracted to older people. I just for a time. You got a bunch of different diamonds in, in this world. Uh, you, 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 you can find uh, one person and then think and then think like a nice person. You know, five seconds later, you in a white a white van got your hands tied. You you finna be in a white van, bro. You finna enter their house, but you you gonna be in that refrigerator. And that's 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 that theme is really bad, right? I mean, yeah. these guys are taking advantage of children. Am I right? EDP. Yeah, he's EDP for her part. I want you to stop and and I want to ask you a question. How would that make you feel? Go you in Yaki. You talk to talk to your neighbors and tell them how that would make you feel. Are those me? Yeah. Uh, me personally. I would have swung on them. Mm-hmm. I would too. Now hit him in the bars and let's overcome. And how would you feel though? How would I feel? Yeah. Feel like will he, will he like will he kiss me and then don't let go? Mm-hmm. Wait, so you going wait oh. do you just, it, if it was a if it, it could be a man, it could be a woman that d- does it to a boy. It could be the same thing. How would you feel? A old lady does this to you? No. Nah. Hey, the berry juice is sweetie juice. Sweetie juice and berry juice. Ricky will so it'll make you feel Ricky. good? Tell me tell express yourself. Me, I would I would have just ran like Nah, bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like do this, and then, and and then run for my life. Nah, yeah. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do that death, I'm gonna do that death sprint walk. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna go lie. Ricky would just sit there and just get <laughs> kissed up, bro. Nah. You get kissed and then nah, you get bro. kissed. I don't know about you, but I'm running for my life. Ricky, well, we can, we can share that. Let's um, let's let's next. talk about this for a second. How about the the theme of this? Her being poor. How, how would that make you feel? That's tough. If you had uh, to work, that's tough to to pay for school. Uh, I don't know. bad and sad and bad, sad. Yeah. Sad because you don't get a play, you don't get a hang out with your boys. Mm-hmm. You mean your and, girls? Cause she's a girl. Well, he's talking about in general, right? Yeah. Tell him a little bit more about that. Um, like you don't really like get a hang out with your family that much. Yeah. Mhm. So being poor, it's kind of, it's kind of, is it a good thing, a bad thing? What do you think? Um, bad thing. Yeah. A bad thing because Cause that's you the don't like, have a lot of Why? money and let, like, let him talk first and I'll come to you. And like sometimes you can't get food sometimes and yeah, like you gotta like uh, uh like uh sometimes like you can't eat or yeah. So you have to work like a job to get like a lot of hard earning money. Mm-hmm. Just to put food on the table. That's pretty sad, huh? Well, yeah. Because you know, like. And then she had to lie about her age. Like, How would you like, feel yeah, about just, about just doing to, that? Just to get a job. Just like, cause like, some like, you don't know like, um, somebody could be looking, mm-hmm. and then like, like, cause you know like, you could be looking, and then. It could cause CPS, and then you could have your take your kid away, but you're not feeling them. You say take your kid away. Kid, kid. away. Kid. Yeah, oh. he's what well, he's what he, what like, I hear you saying is something like um, it'll be bad if you had to work and your mom made you work. 
you know, because somebody could actually call the authorities and take you away from your mom. Because you're not supposed to work, you you lied about your age. I mean, you, McDonald's is hiring people at 13. Hey, yeah. you got a point though. I'm 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 putting I'm putting I'm putting I'm 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 free food, free food, free food. And also, the McDonald's Damn. could probably give you some discounts. They but, 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 but let, now, now even if you too, had bro. to work at McDonald's, but what if an old lady took advantage of you? Then what? McDonald's is free. Would money. it be worth it? And I'm quitting. I'm going to a whole different McDonald's. Nah, bro. I'm going. I'm going to the one in Detroit. Yeah, uh, that's even worse. Hey, Rick, 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 we 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 stay there. Nah, bro, Rick, much. Nah, bro, Ricky would stay in Ohio. It it it, it, it could be like a an eighty year old lady who kissed her, and she he still be waking up. I probably, I bet you that. What what do you think should happen that's to tough. the to the to the old man that's who's taking it who kissed the young girl? What what should happen to him? Oh, uh, go to jail. Eighty for... years in prison. Nah, bro, nah. He, he should go to he should, he should go to jail for at he, least fifty he, years. He, he's a death sentence. Yeah. <laughs> what? Okay, guys, let, let's move on to the next part of the story. He wants us to.